I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Are we bitter about something? Oh, y'all owe me a lot of money. <laughs> we owe you a lot a of money. A lot of money. Well, what happened? How long ago did you Y'all robbed me and charged my card and wouldn't give it back. It was not a good thing. And I called and I tried to be nice. I went through like three or four different levels of basically just stonewalling. These are the pills, like chill pills. It should be. But, uh, I mean, it was just a big stone wall. Okay, so you started getting leads, I'm assuming, that you didn't want to pay for. I got terrible leads. I got leads. I got a Wells Fargo. And they said it was a residential, and it wasn't even in business. And I looked it up on the tax records, and, like, there hadn't been any phone number or anything, or, uh, like, an owner okay. of Wells Fargo for, like, six years. That was the one that I remember, but that was not the only instance. Did you call it? You called oh, yeah. told us you want to cancel? Mm -hmm. Did you tell you, us? You guys would not cancel. You won't cancel, yeah, you won't do it. Well, you know how many times and how many people try to cancel Home Advisor and you tell them, hey, cancel, and you guys put it on pause for, instead of cancel, yeah. and, and then six months later you That's resume right. it? Mm -hmm. You would not go away. Once you sign up with Home Advisor, you would not go away. I personally tried to cancel for like four times. You would not cancel. I recorded conversations with the Home Advisor. I'm part of class action lawsuit against you guys which is like 3,000 contractors sign up already. I recognize you. I'm pretty sure you are. I do, I recognize you. No, I'm serious. Read, read comments on my YouTube. How many hundreds of people commenting, they have the same story. If you pay, would you pay somebody $127 for the phone number and you would never reach the person, he would never call you back, pick up a number or anything. Would you pay somebody $127 for the information that nobody knows is ex exist or anything. So you guys, you guys giving me a phone number, say, hey, this customer needs something. I call him 20 times, and first time within two minutes after you give me a number, you charge me $127. I'm telling you, hey, I, I don't want to pay it. It's not fair. And well, you would not refund it. One thing it. I will say is, you know, you, it's not guaranteedjobs.com. You know, you do pay whether or not you get the job, and your sales rep should have made that very, very clear. I get it. Y'all charge if the it's not an investment. It's a rip off. Y'all charge no, whether it. Yeah, the phone number is disconnected. We very well should be verified. That. You won't. No, you won't. You won't. You won't. But, and you'll charge more. And you'll 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 say that you're going to give a credit, but you won't because what'll happen is you'll send more because you want to. You don't ever want to give the money back. You want to give credit for new leads. Yeah, we do give credits. Yeah. But then what they do is they give new leads, and they're bad too. And so, like, you keep, like, it never stops. And then they, and then what happens is they bill your card anyway for the leads that were supposed to be free. You get billed for, and it, it like, you're told one thing, and then another thing happens, and like your card's just ringing up. That's why they owe me about eighteen hundred dollars. So that's why. That's the average contractor. Two thousand dollars. They burn themselves and they go to the next. Yep. And there's thousands and thousands. I mean, I have people who work for me. Who said that Home Advisor called them freaking every week? You guys would not go away. I have three, four people who working for me every day. They said we're tired of hearing from Home Advisor. Well, and then, and then I had a a, a bill with y'all guys, and I guess uh, the office in Colorado like started harassing me about paying it. And I mean, like it literally took me telling them if you call me again about this debt that you're saying is a debt like you owe me i was like then i'm gonna have to call on you in texas and i was basically gonna make somebody come down and represent y'all down in texas and that's the only thing that got y'all to stop calling so i'm, I'm well, talking well i know whenever my contractors call me back and if they want to cancel they get canceled they don't nobody no 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 well, you know how you, you know how many people told me that home advisor would not cancel account on the four occasions I requested cancellation, I recorded my request, entire thing, and then six months later you guys resume, and when I call you back, say, account should be canceled, like, oh no, you told us, you call us to cancel, but then at the end of the conversation, you ask to pause your leads. And it's a lie, because, and I, I proved it on three times, freaking recorded. This is your script on the Home Advisor, which you tell us, hey, yes, you called to cancel, but then at the end, you said pause me. 
and it's not just me. I mean, I have recorded stuff. It's on YouTube. Like, he put it on YouTube. Like, it's... Yeah. yeah, no, I saw it. <laughs> and people commenting that they have the same story. Everybody I talk to, worst experience. And I'm in Minnesota, he is in Texas. Texas. Dallas. I mean, I've got people from Oklahoma. That... What okay. you guys don't realize that contractors also getting united right now. Like, I, it's yeah. not 10 years ago when you can scam people anything you want. Right now, we are talking. I consult a guy from Illinois. He's got the same exact experience. Well, okay, so I'm not going to dismiss anything because I'm not, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened and I'm not calling you a liar. But I can say that there's a majority of people we don't work for that we just are not good for. But there's also people that we work amazing with this team now. So I don't know, but I I do apologize. I mean, it's not, it was nice meeting you though. <laughs> there's nothing I can say to make oh, it better, I, obviously. I, I mean, I, I wish that I would have been the person that worked with you, but. I don't, I'm sure you're wonderful, but you know, I, I think that it's a corporation thing and I don't think that it's something that what o- good as you possibly could be. What know? office are you in? I am in Golden, Colorado. You're I'm at the corporate office. office. Do you have booths in your office? Is it true? Because I read a lot of no, reviews from ex-employees that no. you can drink at work. No, we do um, after work activities in the summertime, but we don't drink at work, no. Because that's what a whole bunch of reviews saying that in the offices. I read those too. You, 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 yeah. I mean, the amount of people saying it, who used to work for Home Advisor, I mean. Yeah, we are not allowed to drink on the job. But you, you, nothing happens if you do? Oh, no. Yeah, you cannot drink on the job. And you don't have a booth in your fridges over there? No, no. We do. So people are lying? After hours, though, because they do like summer fest for us when we're done working. We're the number one company to work for in Colorado. (laughs) Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure, because you're taking everybody's money. You got plenty well, of you know what? Everybody has around. a choice, right? You know, the contractor can choose to sign up or not. Um, you know, from under line. What's unfortunate? Pressure. What's un- really unfortunate is you don't. After you sign up, you don't have a choice from there, right? Because there's no out, and the card's just gonna keep getting. getting and so I canceled the card, and y'all kept running it because I got sick of it, and then, and then they want to like harass me. So. You don't have a choice. Once you make the choice to like try it, right? Because you do have a choice to try it, or go somebody else. But once you try it, you're in, and you're stuck. And there's nothing you can do. You're probably gonna lose two thousand dollars, and then <laughs> post never... YouTube videos. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. It's like I know you. I've seen your videos. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It...